This video will cover the Trim Model command. This video assumes you have a working knowledge of the Insert Surfaces process. The Trim Model command provides a means to use a surface to trim material from a 3D part. This command can only be used for parts that are in neutral format, like SAT, 3DM, which is a Rhino file, or an IGS file. This allows you to use surface models and subtract the material away from a native Libre Design file. This command is only available while in the part workspace. This surface can be inserted at any time during the design of the part. Once the surface is inserted, it will not change if the imported file is changed. It is not backwards parametric. To insert a surface, click on the Insert Surface icon on the Surfacing tab on the ribbon and select a surface from the file list. The file filter is set to SAT in this case so that only SAT files will appear on the list. In the Insert Surface Options dialog, Face Processing is set to None since this is the only surface being imported. The first three options can be left unchecked for the same reason. When the OK button is clicked, the surface appears intersecting the rectangular part. The Trim Model command is activated and the surface is selected by selecting on Surfaces in the Design Explorer. Clicking on Surfaces will select all surfaces currently in this part file. If there were multiple surfaces to choose from and you wanted to select certain surfaces but not all of them, you would expand the Surfaces group and make individual selections. You can also select a surface simply by clicking on the surface in the work area. The name of the selected surface appears in the Surface Selection box in the Trim Model dialog. At this point, you can decide what part of the model will be trimmed away. Notice the small arrows near the corners of the surface. These arrows indicate the section of the model that will be removed. When the OK button is clicked, the indicated portion is removed. If the reverse box is checked, the opposite portion of the part will be removed. A Trim Model object has been added to the list of items in the Design Explorer. In many cases, you will want to hide the surface once it has been used for trimming. The best way to accomplish this is to hide the surface from view with the Toggle Surfaces command. Just be aware that this command will apply to all surfaces in the design. It is important to understand that the surface being used for trimming needs to at least completely cover the cross-section of the part to be trimmed. In this example, the surface and the block are both exactly 5 inches wide, and the surface extends above and below the block. Now watch what happens when the surface area is not large enough to totally cover the block's cross-section. As you can see, it just won't work. On the other hand, if the surface is larger than the block's cross-section, everything works fine. When an item consisting of more than one surface is imported, all the surfaces in the item can be stitched together so all the surfaces will be treated as a single complex surface. This will save you the trouble of selecting all the surfaces individually. In this example, a cell phone blank SAT file is imported to assist in the design of an injection mold for the phone. When the SAT file is imported, Stitch Adjoining Faces is used for face processing so all the faces on the SAT part will act as a single face. The Heal option is checked to recalculate any inaccurate geometry. The Make Tolerant option will tag inaccurate geometry to assist in subsequent operations after import. These two options essentially act as safety precautions. The SAT part has been imported successfully and is contained inside the rectangular part. To trim away the material from the part to create a mold cavity in the shape of the phone blank, select the Trim Model command, select the surface, leave the reverse box unchecked, and click on OK. The Trim Model feature has been created but will be more clearly seen when the surface is hidden. In some cases, you may wish to create a part that is a duplicate of the imported SAT object instead of creating a cavity. If we edit the Trim Model feature, we can select Reverse to see what that would look like. This video covered the Trim Model command. You learned how this command can use an imported SAT file object 
to trim material from a native Libre file part.